What's up guys? It's me, Abe, from Life by Abe. You came to me, some of my friends asked me so many times, make a video about your apartment again. So I decided I'm gonna do that. Uh, this time I'm gonna show you my apartment here in Vietnam in Ho Chi Minh City. It's kind of dope. This is the outside. Check it out. Well, not that one. This one. building I know right uh, so we'll go inside I'll show you around I'll take you and show you all the amenities I don't know what else to say in the intro subscribe let's go inside all right coming in from the front door immediately you're gonna have the stairs leading up to the bedroom we'll go up there in a little bit then just underneath You've got the kitchen. Check that out. That is an amazing setup for me. Uh, I was living in Japan for a year, and as many people know, um, this refrigerator is much bigger than the one in Japan. I still have a microwave. I have still only one burner, but that's kind of cool there. Then the sink and a large space in the middle for me to do stuff. Yeah, that's kind of cool. And tons, and I mean tons of cabinet space. This is awesome. Over here, we've got my little setup for editing and working and doing all of that. And this is also where I eat dinner, lunch, and breakfast when I'm actually at home and where I just basically chill out. And my charging station is where I charge everything up. All right, next we're going to the bathroom. We've got this whole setup here. We've got the mirror and the sink combo going on right there. Then we're going to turn, and you've got the shower. The whole room's a shower. The whole room is marble. It's pretty awesome. Over here now, you've kind of got the toilet set up. By the way, if you've never had one of these, it's life-changing. It makes you everything. It makes you feel so clean. It's called the bum gun. Yeah, it's pretty dope. Moving on. Here's kind of the view from the other side. The apartment is kind of chill, yeah. I've got my plant up there, one little plant. I want to get more, I want to put a whole bunch up there. That's the landlord's, but I want to put a whole bunch of like small little indoor plants up there just to kind of decorate the apartment a little bit. Next, we've got the stairs heading up into the bedroom, yeah. All right, here we go. We've got our little uh, vanity thing set up over there. I just use it to hold my lotion and cologne. The TV, yeah, you can watch it from bed. It's not even plugged in. See, I haven't been using it. Two reasons I'm trying not to watch TV. And the second one is, if this will focus, right here is an LED that lights up and keeps me awake at night because it's super bright. All right, there's me. There's the bed with a closet where I keep all my goodness and all my clothes and stuff fit in there, which is amazing. Uh, then the bed, nice big king size bed, also super comfortable, really hard to get out of in the morning. All right, well, so, this is my place. I hope you enjoyed the mini tour, at least of the apartment so far. Um, I just kind of wanted to talk about a few things. Check it out. That's my window. That's one of the two windows in my apartment. Uh, don't keep it open often. Two reasons people can see in. And the other thing is that uh, I don't get much sunlight. I live on the first floor, uh, so I don't get a ton of sunlight, and so there's no real reason to keep it open. A uh, few other things though, like the reason why I chose this place over many others is because it is a loft and I've been looking for lofts here in Ho Chi Minh City. The problem is most of the lofts, their roofs are about yay high and you see this kind of serves as a problem here. If it wasn't for this place, I would have to do the hobbit squat and be like this, ah, my precious, and I don't want to do that. It, uh, It'll hurt my back. I'm old. 
I, 152 years old. That's what my students think. Shh, don't tell them anything else. But uh, yeah, I'd probably end up hurting my back and walking around, get a crick in my neck and just even be more of an old man. So to avoid that, I found this place. I was super excited as soon as I saw it. As soon as I came upstairs and I stood up, I was like, done, I want this place. And the landlord was like, what? And the agent was just like, really? You want this place? It's out of your budget. I'm like, I know, but I can stand up upstairs. I'm happy. So little things, little things, right? Uh, yeah, uh, let's, go, uh, let's go check out what else this place has to offer. See you guys in a sec. All right, here's the view from my front door. Check that out. It is actually a waterfall and it leads up to some pretty cool stuff up there. Ah, uh, yeah, great sunlight. Uh, this one does have motorbike parking right out there with a security guard. And the best feature of all of it is Tiki. He's in the cage right now. He's probably been bad, but yeah. Uh, and we've got some fish in here. Super tranquil little spot and a table where you can hang out. They're using it to kind of dry some stuff right now, but you can hang out here and have tea and coffee. Let's go to the roof. Okay, heading up. Gotta hit the elevator. There is going to be a cafe here sometime which is gonna be awesome. It's in the building, just one floor away. You hang out there and drink coffee. Let's hit the roof. Stairs going up out of the elevator. Just gonna go up here and hang out a little bit. Here's the roof. It's so hot so hot today all right and here is the roof I happen to live right next to a military base down here and check it out this is the view from the roof some air conditioning units yeah then over here got a little garden landlord has set up all of these are little herbs and vegetable plants with the water tanks. These water tanks are awesome when it, when it actually is uh, hot. It gives you crazy hot water for a long time. You can tell there's like four tanks up here. Five if you count the one behind the washer. That's the laundry room back there. We don't use it. Uh, this apartment is serviced. So uh, someone else does all my laundry for me and cleans my apartment too. Uh, but this is it so I can come up here and get some mint for my tea and whatever herbs or vegetables I need to cook uh, These are the Hato Centroza buildings. They're super nice. I've been in there. It's awesome. Maybe we'll do a video one day uh, But this is it as you can hear chickens crowing all the time and over there right there you have the uh, largest pagoda Buddhist pagoda in Ho Chi Minh City uh, at least that's what I've been told. Yeah, so this is a cool spot. At night, you can turn on the lights up here and this becomes like a little party spot. People bring out a barbecue pit and drink a few beers up here. I might do that tonight, who knows, we'll see. But a uh, big glass table there too. So. Well, I hope you enjoyed the video. Leave a like, comment, subscribe, and uh, hopefully I will see you guys soon. I'll be putting out more content coming up shortly. I have a little bit more time off from work, um, so this way I can do that. Well, I love you guys. Do epic things. Come visit me. Peace. super chill spot down here downstairs as well I actually drank some coffee and tea and a couple beers down here it's actually it's pretty amazing and it's right next to the parking so if I need to make a quick run out not for beer no drinking and driving no drinking and driving